Thank you, and good afternoon. Distinguished guests, graduates, great day for you, and your family and friends who are most welcome to join us today. On behalf of the university as chairman, I'm delighted to welcome you all here to this afternoon's ceremony. It may be rough and windy out there, but in here it's smooth ride and a joyous occasion. So without much more ado, I want to introduce our distinguished Vice-Chancellor, Professor Deborah Humphreys, to address you all. Vice-Chancellor. Chair, distinguished guests, friends, families, and above all, graduates, you look amazing. It's an enormous pleasure to invite, welcome you to this graduation ceremony. Graduates, this is your day. This is a day to celebrate your achievements, to value the friendships and the networks that you've created while you've been with us, to pause and reflect on your journey so far, that journey that may seem like it's ending today, but actually it's the start of you looking forward and anticipating what lies ahead. Graduation ceremonies are the high point of the academic year, bringing together as they do the whole university community with your friends, families and supporters to celebrate your achievements. We're also joined by representatives of the civic authorities and our education partners as well as some honorary graduates. And I welcome you all, and may I say how much we value your continuing support. Graduates, you have every right to celebrate today. We know how hard you've worked, because we know how hard we made you work. And all of that was to enable you to be your best. At the moment that you cross this stage, you shake hands, high five, that's been happening, or a hug if you feel the need, you will become a graduate of the University of Brighton. And as you do, I hope you feel as proud of us as we do of every single one of you. Over the course of the graduation ceremonies this year, this week, We've celebrated graduates aged 19 to 79 and from 90 different countries across the globe. The university is a diverse international community and long may it remain so. But graduates, there are some incredibly important people with us today. On behalf of the entire university, I would like to thank your friends, your families, your supporters, your carers, your lovers, your partners, all of those who have been there for you in so many ways while you've been with us. Also on stage are an array, and behind the scenes are an array of our hugely talented academic staff and professional staff who have played a vitally important role in supporting you through your time at university. So just before graduates, I ask you to stand and show your appreciation for your supporters and the staff of the university. I can assure you that the business school this morning were quite raucous in their appreciation, but I have a sticky suspicion that the School of Sport and Service Management can go a whole lot further than that. I have huge expectations of you, so graduates, please stand. And join with me and show your appreciation for your supporters and families and friends and the staff of the university. Thank you. So I hereby declare you the winners of that competition this week.
Sorry, turn the page. It's simple, really, but so complicated up here. Um, as a university, you know that we're committed to realising potential and shaping futures for the better. That's what you will be doing. We're immensely proud of the contribution of our students and our alumni. You saw in the film some of our alumni, many of them connected with your school. And in the ceremony brochure, you'll see some other examples. I put you on warning now. I am looking forward to featuring you and your achievements in those materials in the future. You will be the alumni that we celebrate in the future. Each, for each and every one of you, today marks a really significant milestone. And as you celebrate, can I ask you to reflect that we none of us ever stop learning? So as you carry the experience that you've gained with us forward, please continue to keep learning. Today marks uh, a beginning, not an end. It's the beginning of the next phase of your extraordinary life as you shape the future. And as you do so, you'll be a member of our alumni network. This is a network which will give you a lifelong connection to your fellow graduates and to those who have gone before you. There are over 150,000 alumni in the network all over the world, many of them doing roles and jobs and having connections in a world that, the, one, the world that you want to be in. They are there to help you. So please, make a connection with the, the alumni network. They're in the hall here today. And make sure, before you leave, you absolutely are wearing your alumni pin. In the time that you've been at university, much has changed, not least politically. It's certainly no understatement to say that we're living in a period full of challenges and uncertainties. But it's also a world of possibilities and opportunities. It's a world of change in which the English women's cricket team win the World Cup. <laughs> and the women's football team get into the quarterfinals under the guidance of a Welsh coach. In such a world, the ability to combine your knowledge with practice, with the personal attributes of resilience and adaptability and creativity and drive and enthusiasm are the things that will stand out. And I am absolutely confident that as graduates of this university, you have those qualities. Graduates, yours is the future, and we look to you to make a positive difference. No matter what the scale, the future is with you. In doing so, I ask you to bear in mind a caution in the words of, in, that were expressed in the words of the writer Richard Bach, who suggested that, argue for your limitations and sure enough they're yours. I implore you to argue for your possibilities, to grasp opportunity, to be bold, to go the extra mile. Our joy will be, our joy and pride as a university, will be watching you succeed. You've all made your mark here at the university, and I want to thank you for making the University of Brighton your university. You will carry with you memories that will last a lifetime, and I hope you stay connected with us. Thank you. So we're now going to begin the presentation of awards. Graduates, as you will see, you will be called and escorted row by row to enter the stage which is up a slope, there aren't any steps. Can I ask at this stage that you do, the, for the one last time, follow a set of instructions, please don't change the order. It works beautifully, as long as you all just stay in order. You'll have noticed there's a large screen as well behind me, and ve thankfully, very soon, that will be filled with you and not me. So enjoy your moment.
take care on the carpet, it's quite new, so if you've got those new shoes and they're pinching, just, just take a bit of care. There's no need to run, that can be dangerous. And collect your certificate at the end of the stage, because again, we'd, we'd like you to leave with that, but we will get it to you if you do forget it. I'd now like to invite Professor Joe Doust, Head of the School of Sport and Service Management, to announce the awards for the school. School of Sport and Service Management, degree of Master of Science, Applied Exercise Physiology, Lauren Furrow. <laughs> Elaine Malia. <laughs> International Event Management, Myra Chu. Tourism and International Development, Oksana Stewart. <laughs> Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Secondary Dance, Sarah Cheeseman. <laughs> Morva Cole. <laughs> Emma Le Prevot. Rebecca Mead. <laughs> Sarah Palin. <laughs> Charlotte Reynolds. <laughs> Alexandra Scott. <laughs> Annabelle Sines. Secondary Physical Education, Toby Kane. Yes, <laughs> Sophie Cheeseman. <laughs> Molly Isles. <laughs> Kelly Flint. <laughs> Aaron Hassan. Jessica Matthews. <laughs> Lauren Pedalty. <laughs> Charlotte Ridpath. <laughs> Carl Rowland. <laughs> William Sawyer. Professional Graduate Certificate in Education, Secondary Dance, Hannah Bratton. <laughs> Tony Louise Richardson. <laughs> Secondary Physical Education, Megan Hale. <laughs> Sydney Patterson. Jason Thornton. <laughs> Kaylee Watson. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, International Event Management, Jordan Orsha. <laughs> Charlotte Barford. Lara Basser. <laughs> Kaylee Begley. <laughs> Crystal Chung. <laughs> Robin Sitatsky. <laughs> Emma Lee. 
Anna Nadello. Also awarded the Head of School Prize for Outstanding Performance in Event, Travel, Tourism and Hospitality, Aaron Dowler. <laughs> Amy Drury. <laughs> Francesca Finello. Catherine Fisher. Woo! Joel Hyde. <laughs> Ellie Canan. Moritz Kircher. Melanie Krauss. Yanis <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Naomi Ruddock. <laughs> Laura Saddington. <laughs> Nanny Diana Schaffer. Johanna Squires. Anna Stadler. Thea Taylor. Liam Thompson. Hoi Tung Tong. Georgina Trenchard. Ursula Valiste. Savannah Visoni. Valentina Ferklin. <laughs> Jessica Waite. <laughs> Kate Witts. <laughs> International Hospitality Management, Paul Archambault. Emily Bell. <laughs> Winky Choi. <laughs> Nicole De Cruz. <laughs> Min Hung Dang. Felicity Hayes. Charlotte Heminsley. Roxana Itzvanoski. Mohamed Jumbe. Sarah Kirstein. <laughs> Natella Kosovili. <laughs> Jennifer Lamb. <laughs> Vincent Lerfler. Kelsey Margon Bedsey. <laughs> Costel Maracin. <laughs> A 
Rosie Milliken Smith. Monica Mola. Stanislav Montague. Brigitte Montiero Nascimento. <laughs> Hanafe Amber Macchi. <laughs> Hi New Gen. <laughs> Valentina Pickover. Yen Marie Kimenten. Andrew Selwyn. Sergio Sergio. Alexandra Shalomova. Minyan Situ. <laughs> Saffron Stone. <laughs> Su Ying Zeng. <laughs> Mark Tucker. Si Ching Wong. <laughs> Man Ki Yu. <laughs> International Tourism Management, Marina Abd El Sharid. <laughs> Bernadette Anne Desamula Aquino. Louise Budgeon. <laughs> Stephanie Bullock. <laughs> Alina Bush. <laughs> Harriet Coombs. <laughs> Rainier de Cayo. Emma Davis. <laughs> Geraldine Domingo. <laughs> Bettina Estemeyer. <laughs> Susan Haffenden. <laughs> Yanis Idler. Tiffany Jimenez Ortez Liva. <laughs> Aileen John. <laughs> Alexander Kinningberg. <laughs> Elizabeth Kinnish. <laughs> Monika Wukowska. Sven Maingold. Lisa Napple. Anne Neidhart. Diane Rudolph. Laura Sacy. <laughs> Mr. 
Michaela Spampanato. Dejani Thriyaja. Veronica Tuvi Solomon. Philippe Urban. Sarah Vatta. Hazel Whiffen. <laughs> Raphael Woosphere. <laughs> International Travel Management. Amy Rebecca Alder. <laughs> Maria Ayed. Enida de Carvajal. Yeah. Suran Dimbelli. Yeah. Charlotte Forgham. Yeah. Stephanie Giannis. Gunita Grushiva. <laughs> Courtney Ann Jones. <laughs> Muiz Mohammed Buharidan. <laughs> Loithan Nala Hambi. Sarah Catherine Rooney. <laughs> Caitlin Stewart. <laughs> Esma Yurulmaz. <laughs> Physical Education. Chloe Alsop. Jack Argent. Declan Armstrong. Also awarded the Pearl Holt Award for Excellence in Physical Education, Charlie Barrell. Samantha Bennett. Daniel Bone. <laughs> Joseph Braun. <laughs> Anna Brown. <laughs> Amy Bullitt. <laughs> Arba Kala. Brandon Carter. <laughs> Teresa Christoffi. <laughs> Kelly Crawshaw. <laughs> Aislinn Darvell. <laughs> Michael Davis. Georgie Davis. <laughs> Rebecca Drury. <laughs> Cameron Dutch.
Jessica Foster. Sophie Gardner. Jordan Gordon. Daniel Green. Emily Haley. Katie Harbour. Jade Harper. Ronnie Halls. Poppy Hawkins. Amy Hunt. Chelsea Jenkinson. Katie Nell. Fraser Knowles. Shinahar LeBlanc. George Lee. Connie Lewin. Thomas Magnetis. Samuel Marks. Zoe McConnell. Philip McEnany. Daniel McFadden. Ryan Mitchell. Ophelia Moore. Zach Myers. Tommy Oakley. Joanna Osborne. Zoe Outeridge. Liam Painter. Adam Palmer. Carla Patterson. Chloe Pearson. Chloe Pedalty. Craig Pook. Lucy Reader. Christina Richards. Scott Robe. Lewis Russell. Rianne Savin. Abby Schaefer. James Schotter. Katie Skelton. Jack Smith. Tobias Smith. Yeah. 
Oscar Smitherman. <laughs> Daisy Solomon. <laughs> Kieran Staley. <laughs> Lloyd Stubbs. <laughs> Callum Styles Brown. Nicole Taylor. <laughs> Bethany Thompson. <laughs> Sean Torrance. <laughs> Kim Tozer. <laughs> Jody Trussler. Thomas Vickers. Ace Awake. Hannah Wakeman. Paige Waldron. Ben Ward. George Ward. <laughs> Josephine Ward. <laughs> Kirsty Webb. <laughs> Emily Woodhouse. Rachel Wright. <laughs> Retail Management, Sophie Baker. <laughs> Bethany Donegan. <laughs> Natalie Perry. Mohammed Rahman. <laughs> Ashley Shafay. <laughs> Lydia Stevens. <laughs> Natalie Welsh. Retail Marketing, Emma Bizat, <laughs> Vanessa Douglas, <laughs> G. Franks, <laughs> Shainal Islam Haider. Ellie Jenkins. Charlotte Meehan. Abby Ogden. Molly Palmer. Catherine Robb. Sarah Ratcliffe. Sasha Roche. Jan Philip Rudel. Molly Sayers. <laughs> Phoebe Twiss. <laughs> Ch 
And that concludes the presentations of the first part of the School of Sport and Service Management. Thank you, Professor Doust. It is now my great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker. Sarah Roots is the Senior Vice President of Warner Brothers Worldwide Tours and an alumna having graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Hotel and Catering Management in 1992. So Sarah, perhaps you'd like to move to the lectern at platform nine and three quarters to address us. Thank you. Well, I swapped out my wizarding robes for today. So, good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Many of you are no doubt sitting there thinking that I'm actually older than your parents. Well, this was me in this very blurry photograph um, that was taken 25 years ago on the front lawn of Graynor Hall. Uh, this was our graduation party, now a car park, of course, um, and we were in a situation at that time, we were experiencing a recession, and can you imagine, there were actually no mobile phones, uh, it was still cool to smoke, and just off the seafront in Brighton, a two-bedroom flat cost £34,000. Um, if you think that because I'm standing here that I'm clever, well, please think again. Um, actually, I'm not at all. I didn't buy that flat, and of course, I always wish that I had. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. As well as running two studio tours for Warner Brothers, including the making of Harry Potter that you might be familiar with, uh, one, of course, in the UK and one in the United States, I live in a Kent. I spend a lot of time on an aeroplane going back and forwards to LA. I'm married quite late in life and I have no children and I have a beautiful field spaniel though um, called Izzy. Uh, I might work with Harry Potter but I didn't career, achieve my career by magic at all and so here are my favourite top five magical tips for you. Firstly, Overall, I have really enjoyed my career. Be interested, have fun. It's a major part of your life. Try and work out what really interests you and what makes you happy. I've turned down a role at British Airports Authority to work in a fabulous role at the National Trust, and I lost probably half salary and many more benefits, but I never regretted that decision because that role gave me the learning and the challenge that I really like, and also I love having fun and working with very clever people in really busy places. During my very first graduate job, a few weeks after where you are now, um, I went to a hotel for my first job, and the first day that I joined, the hotel actually went into receivership. I don't think it was entirely down to my terrible waitressing skills. I'm sure that was contributing. But my boss said to me, Sarah, when you go out, look for the company, the right company that you want to work for first, and then find your perfect role later. And I've always remembered that advice, and it really fits with my favorite all-time saying, which is, fish where the fish are. Next, be opportunistic. My big breaks have come from taking roles that on the face of it weren't very attractive. I took a team over where there'd been a significant cash fraud and I replaced someone who had been a really terrible bully. But you know what? Those roles, they're the ones that gave me the opportunity to really make a difference and turn around the team. They were both really good opportunities for me. Thirdly, Treat everyone at every moment in your career and in whatever situation exactly how you would like to be treated. Be honest, choose your attitude, and trust people. 
This industry is really small, and you never know where people will pop up next, regardless of how terrible they seemed the first time that you worked with them. People will remember you. If you help them, you will develop a good network, and in turn, they will help you. My opportunity came when I received a call from my ex-boss about a top secret project. We hadn't spoken in 10 years. That call led to really to the career break of my life. I now work for Warner Brothers in London and Los Angeles, running two very successful businesses, and no prizes for guessing where I like to be and the weather's best. And that moves me nicely on to playing the long-term game. I must admit, I stole this quote, I like it. In the business world, everyone is paid in two coins cash and experience. Take the experience first and the cash will come later. For example, when I was a junior manager, I was working in a theme park, uh, actually earning a fraction of my university colleagues' salaries. I was having great fun, I could afford my rent, and I was getting lots of experience and really building my long-term career. There was lots of fun people, we went out all the time, it was the right thing for that time. Last, and for me, the most important, is confidence. Can I be honest with you? I have suffered from having very little. If you're looking at me today and thinking, how can you stand there and do that? I hope that you work out a lot quicker than I did that people with lots of confidence are no cleverer. Let me tell you, you are the only one who can build your confidence. Do it earlier rather than later. Perform how you want to be perceived. Have an opinion and express it. Think about this. The boat in port is safe, but it isn't what the boat was designed for. Be brave. I have always tried to be brave. I've consistently pushed myself, put myself on courses, gone for interviews, taken new jobs in different organizations to progress my career, and studied for an MBA in my own time. I still try to stretch myself by taking on challenges that are outside of my comfort zone. And finally, I come back to where I started, enjoy work, be inquisitive, have fun if there is no tick in these boxes, then look for another job. Let's go back to that group slide of 1992. We've done okay. One of us runs his own catering consultancy, a company that he's worked on from scratch and actually worked on the 360 degree eye here in Brighton. One of us has held a senior marketing role at Virgin Atlantic. One of us has held a senior role in global logistics for Unilever. And Emma, who's here today, she's held a senior role in Sainsbury's and opened new flagship stores. On that day, in 1992, no one in that photo knew what their future held or how they were going to get there. What we all had with the benefit of a degree from the University of Brighton was more opportunity and more choice. I still use my Eastbourne issued Nisbet's knife set and most importantly there is a core group of university friends who are off on holiday this summer. Still close after 25 years, that's my most priceless gift from Eastbourne. I've had no time to discuss Harry Potter with you, um, so I did want to leave you with one last quote uh, from everyone's favorite professor, Dumbledore. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Congratulations on your achievement today. It's been an honor to be invited back to Brighton today, and best of luck for your future careers. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Sarah. I hope there's some very helpful hints for our graduates and some now graduates, uh, and that you can use them in the future. Certainly, I can relate to a number of them. I now invite Professor Joe Doust, head of the School of Sport and Service Management, to continue the awards for that school. Just on their way. Wait a sec. Degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Sport Coaching and Development, Daniel Archer. Brandon George Kenlock. Cameron Stevens Grant. Sport Journalism, Luke Ambler. Callum Anderson. Ben Anson. Thomas Ardina. Matthew Butler. Jake Connolly. James Gardner. Ryan Gibbs. David Gray. James Gray. Jacob Henderson. Callum Hosier. James Hunter. Jonas Line. James Lassie. Jake Lagrange. Jonathan Leefield. Liam Lines. Luke Mannion. Callum McNally. Louis Miles Stringer. Alexander Mullaney. <laughs> Faye Richards. <laughs> David Richardson. <laughs> Jack Seddon. <laughs> Jordan Seward. Asif Sharif. Jack Stewart. Michael Stocko. Joshua Tatlock. Adam Wash.
Lloyd Webb. Ben Weiss. Kelvin Wint. Jamie Wright. Sports Studies. Jack Billington. Che Clarkson. Kieran Hussey. Peter King. Scott Pearson. Aisha Rajput. Eugene Sabanda. William Summers. Sports Studies with Physical Education, Lucinda Harding. Daniel Hastings. Molly Miller. Alex Semby. Travel Journalism, Mary Cox. Teresa Flash. Polly Johns. Pwamina Manalova. Also awarded the Head of Schools Prize for Outstanding Performance in Journalism, Retail or Sport Management, Naomi Matthews. Eleanor Mayhew. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Exercise and Health Science, Amy Allington. <laughs> Verity Cooper Wood. <laughs> Ray Hawkins. Sport Business Management, Niksa Am Ahadi. <laughs> Neil Bellow. <laughs> Natalie Brown. <laughs> Grace Butcher. Connor Church. <laughs> Callum Churchill. <laughs> Charles Clark. <laughs> Jacob Clay. <laughs> Nicholas Coles. Megan Connolly. Well, James East. <laughs> James Forrester. <laughs> Jed Hope. <laughs> Jimmy Ip. <laughs> Mason Kelman. Oscar King. Charlie Mabbitt. Mitchell Morrison. Manson Ung. 
Joseph Osborne. Claudio Pereira. Nadia Sack. Leighton Schaaf. Daniel Sharp. Thomas Taylor. Christian Tossetti. Hyo Tung Sang. Thomas Waters. Sport Coaching, Timothy Bennett. James Berry. Lucy Brabant. Dominic Bruce. George Bryant. Isabel Burt. Josiah Kalugai. Jack Chalk. Tiu Ki Chu. Scott Coulson. Thomas Hadley. Luke Harris. Jack Hyman. Matthew Knowles. Daniel Martin. Joseph McDonald. <laughs> Kelly Nielsen. <laughs> Hannah Nolan. <laughs> James Oliver. Also awarded the Head of School Prize for Outstanding Performance in Physical Education, Coaching or Sports Studies, Thomas Oliver. <laughs> Sebastian Ruiz Rodriguez. <laughs> Jamie Tebbert. Harry Wellsby. Adam Wicking. Sports Science, Thomas Cullingham. Christian Gurina Nazoa. Joshua Hart. Stephen Levis. <laughs> Jacob Monteith. <laughs> Thomas O'Neill. <laughs> Liam Ruddy. <laughs> Sport and Exercise Science. Aaron Anthony Gills. Benjamin Brook. Maxwell Burns. Uh, 
Brendan Burton. Walter Clayton. Nicholas Cunningham. Dylan Cornell. James Desart. Mitchell Eady. Billy Fairminer. Hayley Francis. Sebastian Gatino. Christopher Henry. Abigail Hyam. Rachel Hill. George Jackson. Joshua King. Emily Large. Max Lee. Rosalind Lewis. Olivia Lillywhite. Jack Morton. Jake Newbury. George O'Shea. Jack Riddle. Jamie Rothen. Stavros Sendonaris. Kira Shales. Andrew Simonet. Leonie Simon. Francesca Sippet. Also awarded the Governor's Prize and the Head of Schools Prize for Outstanding Performance in Sport and Exercise Science, Edward Smithson. Connor Spencer. Peter Stollery. Louisa Walsh. Jay Williams. Thomas Yates. Sport and Exercise Science with Nutrition, Connor Betts. Thomas Clark. Joseph Connolly. Maisie Golding. Joanna Kostova. Leanne Scotton. Matthew Weinberg. Sport and Exercise Science with Physical Education. Jessica Fazakali. Marie Yorgo. (laughs) 
Emma Jones. Jennifer Lake. Aaron McGlynn. Michael Reed. Laura Sandy. Paige Sullivan. Karen Westrip. Bethany Whiteley. Sport and Fitness, Harry Cleland. Bronwyn Elsden. Robert Gilbert. Supavadi O'Kane. Matthew Owen. Connor Tune. That concludes the presentations for the School of Sport and Service Management. Now call upon Professor Neil Ravenscroft to present the awards for the Brighton Doctoral College. Vice Chancellor, <clears throat> School of Sport and Service Management, degree of Doctor of Philosophy, in recognition of a program of work entitled. Metabolic Responses to Acute and Prolonged Hypoxic Exposure. Benedict Duncan. Degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Career Paths in Hospitality a Life History Approach, Maria Goebbels. Degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a programme of work entitled Heat Tolerance and Acclimation in Female Athletes, Jessica Mee. Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled The Power Dynamics of Sport for Development and Peace, Governmental Rationalities and Micro Techniques, Jacob Nash. <laughs> Degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled An Embodied Approach to Disability Sport, The Lived Experience of Visually Impaired Cricket Players, Benjamin Powers. <laughs> Degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Hypoxic exposure to optimise altitude training adaptions in elite endurance athletes. Gareth Turner.
degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Music Events as Contemporary Spectacle, U2's 360 degree tour, a collective experience of rock, rituals and resistance. Michael Williams. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentations for this ceremony. Thank you, Professor Ravenscroft. Well, I'm afraid it's the end of our graduation ceremony week, in fact, and this, this uh, event concludes that week. So all good things must come to an end, and so I'm just going to now draw uh, this, these proceedings to a conclusion. In doing so, I just wanted to, to work on the words of the great Sussex philosopher, writer and humorist A.A. A. Milne. He's also known as the creator of Sussex's favorite animal, Pooh Bear. Milne offers many words of wisdom, and this is one of my favorite quotes. Promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Sound advice for you all as you move into the big wide world of work. On a less serious note, I would like to use another Milne quote, this time uppered, uttered by one Pooh Bear. It is more fun to talk with someone who does not use long, difficult words, but rather short, easy words, like what about a drink? <laughs> I certainly need one. So in order to congratulate you, congratulate you all on your achievements, there will be a celebratory drink in the alumni and guest lounge in the Hewson Hall on this level, directly behind the auditorium, so it's over there. You're a very sporty bunch, this lot. So I hope you have a very good sporting weekend. The Vice Chancellor talked about the great things going on in female sport. I should be riding around London on Sunday without any traffic, I hope. So I hope I don't bump into you. <laughs> so it remains for me to say, please stand for the platform party uh, as we leave the stage, and to say thank you, well done, and good luck in the future. God bless. <laughs>